and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to can pumpkin. And this is going to be a super simple process, very easy, anybody can do it. Um, this puree is good for like pumpkin pies, pumpkin roll, pumpkin bars, anything you want to make that's like pumpkin related, this is going to be perfect. So let's get started. I'm going to show you kind of what you're going to need. Um, the process is extremely easy and so we're just going to jump right in. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so before we begin, I wanted to talk a little bit about the kind of pumpkins you're going to want to use for um, baking, like pumpkin pie, pumpkin roll, anything that you bake, um, you're going to want a specific kind of pumpkin for. Um, and uh, some people do use like ornamental pumpkins, some people use squash, I mean do whatever works for you. Um, personally, I like to use a specific kind of pumpkin called a pie pumpkin, some stores refer to them as sugar pumpkins. Um, I actually picked these up at Meyer because I went around to all of the local like, produce stands and nobody was selling them. They only had the big ornamental pumpkins and those are not ideal for baking um, for more reasons than one and I did some research and I kind of wanted to give you the facts and um, that way you can make an informed decision about what you want to do and what you want to use. So a few things. The ornamental pumpkins don't tend to have as thick of flesh. Um, the ones that are like ideal for carving, um, the, the flesh is like a lighter orange color. They're often not as flavorful as the little pie pumpkins. Um, they're not as naturally sweet. Um, and sometimes, yeah, when you bake them up, the coloring isn't quite as nice. So that is why I recommend using a sugar pumpkin or a pie pumpkin. Obviously, do whatever works for you. And if you've been using ornamental pumpkins your whole life and those work great for you, then that is awesome. Um, keep doing what works for you. Anyways, all right, so I'm gonna get started. I don't really have that many pumpkins to do. I did a whole bunch of pumpkin um, like a week ago, so this is just finishing up a little bit of what I have and then I'm done for the year. So anyways, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is cut out the stem of the pumpkin, and then we're gonna cut it in half. And you're gonna clean out the seeds using a spoon or whatever utensil you decide to use. Some people like to save the pumpkin seeds, wash them, and then roast them. Don't ask me how to do it though, because I've never cared for pumpkin seeds, so I never took the time to learn how to do it, but I do know that people do that. So the next thing you're going to do is grab a big pan, I like to use my roaster, and you're going to put a little bit of water in the bottom and then place your halved pumpkins um, face down in that pan. We're going to put it on the stove, put it on maybe a medium heat, um, covered, because we're going to steam the pumpkin, and just let it cook for a while. And I'm not going to give you an exact time of like how long to cook it because I mean the size and the um, thickness of the flesh of your pumpkin is going to determine that. So just cook them until they are soft. Once you can easily poke them with a fork, we're going to grab a tongs and a bowl of ice water and we're going to um, remove the pumpkins from the hot pan and put them in the ice cold water and let them cool. Okay, so this next step is by far my favorite. It is so satisfying. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to um, take the peels off of the pumpkin and then puree it. Um, after you puree it, you can can it. Um, some people throw it in the freezer or you can just use it right away and make a fresh pie or pumpkin roll. Whatever fall inspired pumpkin-y item you are considering making, this will be ideal for that. Okay, so there's definitely like more than one way to do this step here, but I prefer to use my hands. That way I can feel if I'm getting any skin. Um, but you're gonna wanna scoop that pumpkin out of the skin. You can also use like a butter knife. Um, and once you have it all scooped out, you're gonna fill your blender and puree that for just a minute or two till it's completely smooth. Now 
next step is to fill your canning jars and I fill mine with a cup and a half of puree because that's what my pumpkin pie recipe calls for so I just do this ahead of time so I know one jar equals one pie but you can do whatever <laughs> works for you there's no right or wrong way um, and then add a teaspoon of salt to each jar All right, now it's time to can the pumpkin. And so first of all, you're gonna warm up some canning lids to soften the seal. And you're gonna wipe off the rim of your canning jar so that there's nothing that's gonna be in between the rim of your jar and the seal. That will make so it doesn't seal and nobody wants that. So place a lid on each jar. We're gonna put a ring on, tighten those, and we're ready to can our pumpkin. Add about an inch of water to the bottom of your canner and then we are going to put some Vaseline on the seal of our canner because it's a metal on metal seal so it needs a lubricant to seal so I use um, Vaseline and then we're going to place it on the stove, add our jars and then we're going to place the lid on. Okay, so if you use an all-American brand of canner like I do, you're going to want to remember to always screw down the um, screw-on knobs opposite of each other as you see me doing here. And then turn on the heat and we're going to watch our pressure gauge and look for it to get up to 10 pounds pressure. Once it is, you'll see the steam coming out here. You're going to want to have that coming out for a solid 7 minutes before you add your weight. And as you see, I put on the 10 pound pressure weight. So now we just have to watch our gauge reach the 10 pound pressure mark. And there it is. <laughs> For pumpkin, you are going to keep this at 10 pounds pressure, adjusting your heat to keep it at 10 pounds for 60 minutes. After 60 minutes, turn off your heat and let your pressure get down to zero before you take the weight off. Um, once it's down to zero pressure, take the weight off. You can take your jars out, let them cool, take the rings off and there you have it. You have just canned pumpkin. <laughs> I hope this video is helpful and I will see you in the next one guys. Have a good week. Bye.